Next on the list, we have some very unfortunate news courtesy of TMZ. Morgan Wallen, um, uh, a very popular country music artist, was unfortunately caught uh, saying some very <laughs> inflammatory words, let's say, whilst he was out and about with his friends that essentially um, caused him his entire career to get cancelled. He has been essentially removed from the, from the music industry because he decided it was a good idea to refer to his Caucasian friend as the N-word on their way home. Like a complete failure of a situation. Now, um, it's funny, it's funny because it's funny, right? That, you know, um, this white guy thinks it's like okay to like refer to his white friend as the N-word even though he's a country music artist, because I know people will be saying, oh, no, there's certain people in certain communities that say the N-word. Okay, cool. Well, you know context matters. If context matters and you grew up in the hood and you are kind of one of those quote-unquote wiggers and you say the N-word, there's still context to it, but people are still not going to be happy if you say the word anyway, right? It is what it is. But if there's this really, really white country music artist who has no connection to urban community whatsoever, um, who is kind of representing a, a music industry that is well known to be quite racismo in their approach and their kind of um, acceptability of certain people, right? You only see, you have to see what happened with Little Nas X and Old Town Country Road, even though he had flipping Billy Ray Cyrus on the remix, right? It's just insane how the, how that how he was treated in the country music um, genre. It just makes it even more funnier that this kid would think it would be smart and wise to do so. Even more funnier that he would do it in the second day into Black History Month. The second day. After everything that's happened in the US, da -da 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 -da, he thought it would be good PR. And then he added on top of it, he was also the same guy that got caught, I think it was maybe a few weeks, a few months ago or something like that. You know, living a rock star life. He went to a party somewhere. I'm not sure if he's got a girlfriend or wife or whatever. That would probably make it worse. But in fact, he went to some party and was kind of, you know, video, videoed on TikTok somewhere, kissing up on random girls. He was literally, I don't know, tongue kissing the entire club, it looked like, of the girls that are like under the age of 21, which, you know, some rock star shit in it. Do your thing. But I guess before an SNL show with COVID going on, it just didn't look right. And of course, he was kind of duly taken off of COVID, um, duly taken off of SNL. I think it was the same week as Bill Burr, who was meant to perform. And then I think he came back on the kind of the following couple of weeks later. He did Fear of Warns podcast. He came across really well. Some some kind of damage control PR move that was very well done. He kind of came across really interesting, laid back kind of dude. But this is just one of those things that you just can't come back from, unfortunately. In the world that we live in now, um, saying things, it would be, it would probably be easy to come back from being accused of assaulting a woman than it would be from saying the n-word in this society it feels like i feel like if you had the right pr spin you could maybe get out of the whole assaulting a woman thing by painting the lady as a psycho i don't know there's something that you could do but the n-word with a strong r woo -hoo -hoo, that's tough that's tough it's courtesy of tmz it says um morgan wallen Hells the N word after Rowdy Night Out apologizes. I promise to do better. Ah! <laughs> so, this is the video here from TMZ. Let's play it. Take care of this pussy. Hey, actually. Hey, y'all too. Hey, take care of this pussy ass motherfucker. Hey, Gracie, take care of this pussy ass Twice. So maybe it's an inside joke. Right? Maybe it's a thing within their little social group that they call each other this. Cool. No problem. Do it behind closed doors, in your own privacy, not around strangers. Um, again, maybe the, the other thing too, who's the person recording this, right? Who's the telltale that decided to sit outside their home and wait for these guys to come back from a night out and record them saying these profanities? Maybe they had an altercation prior and they're waiting to stick it on them, but that is also something I don't really um, promote, right? That snitch culture thing, knocking on your neighbours is really disgusting. I'm not a big fan of it whatsoever, but again, he only has himself to blame. Morgan Wallen returned home from Sunday night uh, from a rowdy night with friends, normal night out, right? With, if you're a rock star. As he walked up his driveway, he held the N-word other profanities in an in all on a video and Wallen is remorseful. The country star and a group of buddies had just spent a night out in Nashville. When they arrived at Morgan's home around midnight, they were extremely loud, honking horns and talking loudly, loudly enough to piss off neighbours. One of the neighbours began recording the antics. So, what I'm led to believe reading into this, maybe prior to this, um, Morgan Wallen and his friends were being a little bit were being shitty neighbours right they were just partying all night partying all day making noise you know doing the shit that American neighbours don't really tolerate too much like enjoying your home odd but hey and then I'm assuming they got complaints called by the police and nothing changed so one day I haven't, I haven't probably like um, 
one random day maybe a neighbor probably overheard them saying something mad and like wow i think i heard them say the n-word and then they're just probably looking forward to repeat it again maybe but it just seems odd that they kind of time it at that exact moment and then he'd say it on camera too maybe it was just that was just a thing he was just saying throughout the entire thing i can imagine it because you know you're in the social group of friends and you you end up using a phrase a word and it ends up just it ends up being an inside joke that makes everyone in the group die of laughing like crying tears but everyone else i hear this like what the fuck well, why is this funny? But it's just like, you know, you, you had to be there at a certain time of day, blah, 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 blah. That might be to do with the N-word. That might be the same thing in their group. It's an odd humour, don't get me wrong, but, you know, what it is, what it is. Um, as Morgan appears to stumble towards his house, he tells someone to watch over a guy in the group. He says, take care of this uh, <laughs> before finally heading in. There's another video here on a ring camera. Bruv, they've got this guy in full 8K in it, man. God damn it. This is a ring camera from across the street too. Honking horns, of course. All right. It looks like a normal, like what, residential street, right? It doesn't really look like a, cause I think this kind of behavior might get tolerated if you live like an apartment block somewhere on the side of Miami beach, right? Cause I guess most of the occupants are never home. They're mostly foreign investors or playboys and stuff that are running around the country or the world. So, and you know, and they're all used to people getting up to all kinds of nonsense. But when you're living on just a quiet, normal family, so you probably have to watch your P's and Q's. And if there's one thing that you can't be doing on these streets is pissing off the Karens. You have to make friends with the Karens. Make friends with the Karens and probably could get away with saying an N-word. But the fact they didn't make friends with them and you just kind of, you know, took their kindness for weakness, they definitely ended up getting him back. Um, it continues here. The video uh, from a neighbor's doorbell can cam shows the scene of Morgan uh, held the profanities and racial prof uh, epithet, and it's apparent why neighbors looked outside. There's another video here of M Morgan Wallen um, kissing a young lady at the door, and it said the video of was recorded on Monday morning again by another same neighbor. Um, as for as for Sunday, it's unclear exactly when Morgan went, but we do know that he had made at least one stop at Luke Bryan's restaurant, 32 Bridge, where he jumped on stage for a quick performance. And then the update, I guess, was here. Morgan Wallen denounced after hurling racial slur, Radio Cyrus label and CMT shelf him. This is insane, isn't it? <laughs> he just got binned by the entire industry. So this is the, um, Morgan Wallen is feeling remorseful. He's feeling immediate backlash against uh after after using the n-word music platforms are come dropping him left right and center and um, fellow country music artists are also condemning his behavior the singer's music was reportedly banned from columbus media overnight which is one of the bigger videos chains for the country music across the nation the directive from the station's brass told all affiliates to scrub the in anything of morgan from wednesday's slate of programming the memo obtained by Variety reads Morgan Wallen extremely important. Team, unfortunately, country music star Morgan Wallen was captured on video Sunday, meaning using a racial slur. Um, effective immediately, we ex we request that all of Morgan's music be removed from our playlist without exception. More to follow. Many of his own peers are decrying his use of racial slur, but there seems to be a difference of opinion whether the asset incident or a bigger problem that's coming to light. And this is a person called Morin. Who's this called? Moran Morris and Kelsia Bellerin. Bellerin saying the following The news of Nashville tonight does not represent music, industry, country music. Another person said it is representative of the country, of our town, because this isn't his first scuffle and he has do just demolished a huge streaming record last month. Regardless, we all know it wasn't his first time using that word. We keep them rich and protected at all costs with no recourse. Yep, we're, we'd be dropped, endorsements lost, and social pariahs to music row. Um, for example, country music. Da -da -da. And I guess the latest updates as the story was developing was this country music star Rick Mickey Gautin, one of the handful of well-known black singers in the genre, just spoke her piece about the Morgan Gallon situation. And she gives some poignant insight, including an olive branch to Morgan himself. She writes, when I read comments saying this is not who we are, I laugh because this is exactly who country music is. I've witnessed it for 10 good years. You guys should just read some of the vile comments held at me on a daily basis. It's a cold truth to face it, but it's the truth. Yes, yeah, true. Imagine Imagine being a black um country music star in america now especially with the way the country is god damn it she's probably read some absolute horrendous stuff but here's her tweets as well this is mickey gayton saying the following um 
I question on a daily basis as to why I continue to uh, to fight to be in the industry that seems to hate me so much. But then I realize that there is new artists of color, all bright eyed and excited to be in the industry. Yeah, this artist might not have the strength to fight for themselves, but I do. And I'll be that artist warrior for them if they pursue their dreams. I love country music so much. There are amazing people in this genre behind the scenes and in front of the cameras that have kept me sane all these years. Those are the people who we must remind ourselves are out there and worth supporting. And lastly, I do not believe in cancel culture watching anyone fall from grace is a terrible thing to see people must be given a chance to change morgan must feel the weight of his words but completely throwing him someone away is detrimental to anyone's mental health exactly that's what i truly believe especially during lockdown there is never a worse there's never been a worse time to get cancelled than during a lockdown because everyone's on their phone whatever little indiscretion you do gets heightened and am amplified because people are bored and they've got nothing else better to do and what what is better to do than bury somebody online if you're a stranger right it must be it must feel good it must feel exhilarating but for that person that's getting cancelled it's horrible because it seems like there's no way out of you of this of the flipping um quicksand that you're slowly being engulfed in so there has to be some route to redemption, right? There has to be some route that he can come back in the street. He might have to sit this one out for a period in time because, hey, it's Black History Month after all, but there has to be a way back. It continues. Another update says you can now add iHeartRadio donations of radio chains to a list of platforms. Yankee Morgan's music iHeart announced Wednesday is pulling the plug on airing the distressed country music in the wake of using a racial slur. The spokesman of the company said he has nearly 1,000 stations in the US and said in light of Morgan Weller's recent accusations involved use of racial slur, we have made a decision to remove his music and content from our stations immediately. <sighs> Maybe a part of me thinks as well, like, can't the market just decide that he's a racist and not listen to his music? If he is or if he isn't, like, isn't that shouldn't should that be left to the to the consumers of the music itself? Like, I don't I don't know, man. I don't really like record labels uh, getting in and becoming morality police. Like, should they just go back into the archives and start listing and reading off all the names of fellow artists that have spoken about domestic abuse, uh, sexual abuse, physical abuse, um, you know, cheating, whatever it may be, whenever it may be crimes. Should we do that as well? Like, how far back do we want to do you want to go from it? Like, honestly, I don't know, man, I'm, I'm a little bit. I'm not really sold on this idea that they can just cancel this guy's career completely because he decided, again, being a black guy, saying what he said, you know, maybe because I'm, I know what country music people are like, right? So I'm not surprised. It's not like, oh my God, a country music star has some very uh, closeted, bigoted opinions of people that aren't the same race as him. Like, I'm not that surprised. It doesn't take, it doesn't take me aback as much as it should do, right? Um, but also, I'm not, I don't really know how right or just it is for a record label to decide and pick and choose who gets a credit and who doesn't it's already difficult enough to make it in the industry last thing you need is for a record label to decide because it's the flavor of the moment because again only because we're living in a current era if you would have said this maybe 10 years ago it wouldn't have been a thing but because we're in a current era we're living in now things are changing certain languages not really um uh, tolerate as much as it is before there's a lot more of acknowledgement of the black experience around the world people are a little bit more sensitive to it right cool no problem but is this the right way to deal with it really like what does this actually do it continues here um the hits just keep coming on for morgan now his record label um has put him on shelf saying his contract with him is on freeze for now what does this say again what well, record labels are always the ones to hold on to you man they're, they're the masters of playing the game uh big loud independent label based in Asheville says in the wake of big loud has made a decision to suspend morgan's contract indefinitely they go on to say the republic records distributed music has fully is so suspending it what's that mean until he's basically back so he's going to go on an anti-racist course. He's probably, do you think he's going to get taught by that, um, what's her name? The Angela Woman. I, I read that um, anti-racism book. That'd be Lowe's. Or he might go to like Starbucks training. It's unclear what indefinitely suspended contract means in the big picture, but it sounds like they're stopping short of dropping Morgan from the roster, just putting a music biz of his on pause. It's true. Because he's big money, man. It's Morgan Wallen guy gets some really, really big streaming numbers. I checked his Spotify and he's no, he's no joke. So they definitely don't want to take him off completely because that's going to hurt their pockets. CMT, Contributor Television, is also putting a plug on him saying they're removing any appearance of, of Morgan on the platform. As it turns on Reddit, it's, like, it's like, come on, guys, man. Really? Come on, man. Come on. I don't know. Let the market decide, isn't it? Um, that's my thinking. This kind of... Uh, a spokesperson for Sirius XM tells TMZ the satellite radio station has pulled its content from Sirius XM as well. Jesus Christ. A spokesman from MS Communication tells TMZ he's Yankee and Morgan's music from... He's been deleted, deleted. So this is, again, this is why I say 
working in entertainment in the Hollywood industry can be so cutthroat and so, um, you know, it just can be awful, right, to work in it because when you're up, you're up. So when he's up, everyone wants to be his friend. They're DM DMing him for guest list spots. They want to go to the after party, right? Everyone's around him. I'm sure now during his most darkest moments, all these friends that he kind of thought were his friends aren't around him anymore. They're probably all left. No one's answering the calls or replying back to text messages. So this is when, if you're really his friend, you should be gathering around the dude and supporting him as much as you can because it's going to be a very, very long and lonely way for him to come back um, to where he was prior. I do believe in redemption. I do think he should be given a second chance. I think the idea that record labels can decide um, who shouldn't be having a career and who should, considering the amount of other country music artists that have come prior to Morgan Wallen who have said and done much worse in the industry on record outside the industry and weren't very and weren't punished to this extent is laughable but hey it is what it is and again if you're his friend support the dude be, rally around him but i think overall deleting the guy from the music industry completely is not going to solve the problem and if tomorrow you know it transpired you know knock on wood that doesn't happen but if you hear a story of him you know unfortunately um self-deleting how bad would everyone else feel that they've kind of driven him to this extent because they decided to pull away his one thing that was holding him together during these dark times. Let, but let me know in the comments below. Maybe I'm being too forgiving. Let me know what you think about Morgan Wallen um, getting cancelled for hurling the N-word at somebody who isn't black <laughs> after on the way to an after party. Uh, he's an absolute psychopath, isn't he? Absolute psychopath.